Planet Dolan. How did a man have sex on the moon without even being an astronaut? What did the government cover up about the Challenger explosion? From conspiracy theories that came true to where drinking water comes from, here are 10 things NASA wishes you didn't know about. I'm Danger Dolan's mysterious brother and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10. In 2002, Thad Roberts was a 25 year old intern at NASA. He worked at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and he had the bright idea to steal some moon rocks from his job site. And not just one or two of them. He stole 17 pounds worth of moon rocks retrieved from the Apollo moon missions and started selling them on the internet. But before he put them up for auction, he scattered them out on his bed and he and his girlfriend had sex on top of them. Roberts went to jail for 100 months, but at least he got to say he was one of the first two people to sorta, kinda, have sex on the moon. Number 9. The threat of a huge asteroid colliding with Earth and wiping everything out is very real, and it's one NASA is tasked with creating a countermeasure for. Currently, the best countermeasure they have is right out of a movie. They just throw some nuclear weapons at it and hope it moves aside. But former Apollo astronaut Rusty Schweikart believes NASA is just using asteroid protection as a front, and that their real aim is simply to put nuclear weapons in space. He now runs an organization researching better ways to divert a potentially life extinguishing asteroid. Number 8. China has a growing and expanding space program. After years of the United States being the leader in space exploration, China appears set to take over and lead in the future. The US is expected to retire the International Space Station in 2024, which will leave China as the only country with a persistent presence in space. China is also on pace to become the first country to explore the dark side of the moon. The Chinese space program is still way behind American and European space programs, but they're investing in it heavily and are learning fast. At this rate, they'll be the leaders in space exploration within the next decade. Number 7. In the year 2000, NASA was hacked by a 20 year old man from New York. Two of their computers, one of which was used for satellite design and mission analysis, were taken over from miles away. So was the hacking an attempt at uncovering state secrets? Nah. He used one of the computers to host a chat room with other hackers. The other he used to collect passwords, steal credit card data, and spam pornographic advertisements. With the passwords he uncovered, he earned access to another 800 computers. He'd gotten away with it for two years before he was caught and punished for it. Number 6. The Challenger explosion in 1986 is one of the most infamous events in NASA's history. The official story was, for a while, that the shuttle had exploded and everyone on the ship was simply vaporized in an instant. But that's not what happened. That explosion probably didn't even cause the cabin to lose pressure. The Challenger continued to ascend three miles up in the atmosphere, with the crew fully conscious and, most likely, uninjured. But the launch was botched and the shuttle didn't have the momentum to escape Earth's gravity, so it eventually fell into the ocean over the course of two and a half minutes. Some of the emergency equipment in the cockpit was manually activated by those on board, so we know for sure that at least some of the crew survived the initial blast. It would probably have been better for them if they hadn't. Number 5. One of the big problems in space is getting fresh water. Humans need water to live, and space doesn't exactly have an abundant supply of it. So in 2003, they figured out a better solution than simply shipping water via cargo rocket. They just told the astronauts to drink their own piss. A new distillation process takes all forms of wastewater, urine, shower runoff, sweat, even lab rat urine, and purifies it until it's drinking water of even purer quality than what comes out your tap at home. These days, around 93% of all wastewater on spacecraft is reclaimed and reused, except by Russia. The Russians still absolutely refuse to drink purified urine. Number 4. The James Webb Telescope is the proposed successor to the nearly 30-year-old Hubble Space Telescope. But the process of trying to get the Webb Telescope built and launched has been bumpy, at least. It was initially proposed with a lifetime cost of $5 billion. But now, it has an estimated launch date of October 2018, and that figure has been revised to $8.7 billion. That includes development, launch, and five years costs relating to the running of the telescope. But that's not really a good explanation as to where that extra 3.5 
billion dollars went. Number three. In May 2017, the United States Air Force announced the successful landing of the X-37B, a small unmanned space shuttle. Which is funny because nobody knew that the X-37B had even taken off, or that it had been flying in low Earth orbit for about two years. The Air Force has two X-37B shuttles, which were developed by Boeing with NASA heat shielding technology. They've flown several times since 2010, but what the Air Force plans on actually using them for is anyone's guess. Number 2. Nazis are bad, evil people responsible for the mass genocide of millions of people. But the reason Germany had such success overtaking most of Europe is that they had some brilliant scientists and highly advanced weaponry. Operation Paperclip is the name given to the United States scramble to recover discarded tech and scientists. In some cases, their history, as Werner von Braun was the chief developer of the V-2 rocket, the first ever ballistic missile. And he, along with many others, ended up joining NASA as high-ranking officials, some of which were instrumental in landing on the moon. Number 1 And, speaking of landing on the moon, NASA has something to admit. Apparently, the original recordings of the moon landing from 1969 have been taped over, like your parents' wedding video. They were apparently part of a batch of 200,000 videotapes that were erased and reused to save money. The good news is, digital copies of the recording, which were actually remastered to look much better, still exist. But this is fuel to the conspiracy theorists who believe the moon landing was a hoax. Do you know any facts about NASA or have any crazy conspiracy theories? Leave a response in the comments below and we'll pin our favourite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. Well, that's it for this countdown, but catch you guys next time.